and reopening the economy, but not too fast. Governors in the tri-state taking action, but there is worry about the virus roaring back. And now a new way to track exactly how many people have had the virus, neighborhood by neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Eidegger begins our coverage at 11. He's live from Long Island City, Queens. Josh. Hey, Bill, we already knew that the virus affected the people amid the glossy skyscrapers of Manhattan much less than in many other neighborhoods across the five boroughs. And tonight we know for sure, thanks to an app on the city's website that lays bare the disparities in America's richest city. At first glance, the congested streets of Corona, Queens seemed like business as usual this evening. But no matter how many people ventured out of their homes, all isn't normal here. It may never be again. People are still in the hospital. People are still being affected by this. In Corona, basically everyone knows someone who died. It makes you want to cry when you see this. Francisco Moya represents the neighborhood where he grew up in the city council. And his district, which shares a name with the virus, is also its ground zero. According to new data released by the city, the zip code covering Corona and East Elmhurst were among the hardest hit. Nearly half the people tested for the virus were positive, a sign of the glaring racial divide, with New Yorkers of color dying at twice the rate of their white counterparts. And then you see the uh, zip codes in Manhattan, uh, in Battery Park, and in uh, the financial district where there is no deaths. And those of us who live here in the uh, historically disenfranchised communities uh, had to stay and suffer through this pandemic. With other parts of the state relaxing restrictions in the city, the mayor says it's still too early. Public beaches are being fenced off in time for Memorial Day. As officials add new testing sites and hire contact tracers to help identify and isolate new cases in the future. But in Corona, the future seems so hard to imagine. Cindy Ruiz's dad survived COVID, but she knows so many people who didn't. It's something that mentally for sure is going to scar us for a really long time. Something that we're going to tell our children when they go up and if we become grandparents, it's, I think it's going to be something that's going to go down in history for sure. Uh, she lives in the zip code 11368, which covers Corona and a part of East Elmhurst and which lost 369 people. 369 people died in that one zip code. You can check your zip code and see a lot more information on this site the city has put up. We put a link at abc7ny.com.